Oh, wow. That really has horrible implications, huh? Oh, hello there, strange green three-eyed people in jars. It's more Rim Rim with your guy, me. Wow, wait, what a lovely hyper-industrialized morally questionable base. Welcome back. Now, today's episode is probably going to be a little bit shorter because I have to travel very suddenly. Uh, and I have to record as much content to keep me going uh, over the course of the three days while I'm not here. Uh, it's currently... 20 past 12 a.m. midnight, and I have a train in six hours, so I'm not sure I can commit to a full episode. <laughs> yesterday, we finally got around to testing the brand new mech suit. We've got another mech suit that we researched yesterday as well that we have to get around to building. And in between episodes, I also redesigned a little bit of the kill box over dinner. Well, it's not a kill box. It's just like a like an actual entrance to a military installation now. Not that I've ever seen any of those, but that's what I presume they look like. Oh, we also got a nuclear power set up, which I suppose is <laughs> probably worth mentioning. Ooh, a Especially given that the weapon that I've seen that we can build now. <laughs> you have given me so much power with this one. Ooh, we've got the dual wheel mod. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, inevitable nuclear catastrophe aside, today I want to make sure that our people are happy and healthy and not, you know, passed out from resurrection psychosis. Then we focused on the mechs a lot recently, which has been fantastic. They're incredible. I'm, I'm in awe of the mechs. But we've got giant piles. When I say giant piles, I mean absolutely massive piles of Scarlet Mechanite, potentially Luciferum, all sorts of combat drugs. We have an incredible amount of compressed sludge. Oh, shit, maybe a little bit too much. And we're not using any of it. Now, I said we were only going to build four mechs. And when we built the mechs, we'll get rid of the amp suits because they're going to be our elite units. We're going to give them names and paint jobs. It's going to be incredible. But I want to make sure that our pilots inside those mechs are safe. And should the mechs get defeated, we're not going to be sacrificing Chainsaw Hands, Kirillin, Boone, and Naughty, our our chosen pilot. And what better way to do that besides calling them an entire backup body? A hilariously brightly colored, slightly distracting backup body. <laughs> now, we also need a few more cortical stacks. Now, I've heard rumors that the... Uh, Anti-mech suit faction that we have been fighting against. It turns out all along, mechanoid agents. They were disguising themselves to try and throw us off. Why are humans after us, thought General Payne. This is terrible for morale. Turns out the truth was all along they were they were mechanoid agents. Now these brand new anti-mech elite mechanoid agents will have a chance of cortical stacks in them, and that will oh my god, right on cue. He could not have planned it any better. And genuinely wasn't something I did. A group of mech crushers from the elite agents, the mechanoid elite units here to uh, clap our cheeks. Hello, nice to see you. Oh, and of course these elite mech agents, now that we've caught on to them, now that we know who they really are, will turn up in suits. Uh, or at least they would if I reloaded the game when I <clears throat> added the custom faction. <laughs> Look, I got a lot of my mind, okay? I can't be expected to remember all these damn things. You might want to move the shield generator down a little bit. Look at that. Doesn't quite cover the whole box now. We don't want to push it so far out that the enemy could benefit, but if we throw it, like, right in front of the door, that seems like a shit idea. I suppose we could just put it a little bit more forward. Ah, oh, get in the get in the mechs. Get in the mechs, Kirillin. Oh, you're at the wrong bay, Kirillin. Hopefully those... Charge lances can keep us alive a little bit longer. Get in the mech, Krillin. Go, 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 go. Oh, let's just turn on assisted combat. Let's either take the reins while we get everyone else drafted up. General Payne, get in the mech. Who else are we waiting on? Naughty, get in the mech. And then as soon as we got King Snitch's new body, King Snitch is also going to be able to ride another amp suit. But when we've got the four mechs, and the only four mechs we're building, we'll get rid of these. We'll make sure my... People are nice and safe. Sorry, what in the fucking hell is that? Bruh! What the hell kind of weapon did they have there? That was that mini turret pack. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <gasps> what was that? Because I'd really like to do whatever that was for our people. That was amazing. Oh my god, they've taken out Boone already! Oh, I mean, shit, that's not much of a surprise. Did you see what they did there? Uh, no, no, no. Chainsaw hands? Uh... Leap in, take the initiative. We haven't got it. We haven't given her a cortical stat yet. If I do that, she could die. Get in the mech. Get over here. Rescue Boone. Uh, you three come down. Oh shit! All the sandbags are destroyed. Wow! They made such quick work of that. Holy shit! <gasps> Not like this. Shit! Oh my god! We can resurrect her. Wow, they have stepped up the difficulty pretty damn far. Okay, chainsaw hands. Get in there. This is a dangerous play. 
This is a very, very dangerous play. Coralin. Just get in there. No, no, no. Stay behind the cover. Stay behind the cover. General Payne, come down. Shit. Chainsaw Hands is down, but she saved the day. What's happening to her? What's happening? Psychic damage? Uh, that's a problem. She's being crushed by psionic gravitational pressure. That doesn't seem very good for her health. <laughs> I'm no doctor, but that seems pretty dangerous. Pick her up. Bleeding out in five hours. She seems like... Is she going to be okay? She's not going to be okay at all. Oh, shit. Um, what if we drop her and have Sachiko patch her up? Wow. Uh, I mean, that raid was... I can't believe you've done this. The character who is capable of resurrecting other people... Has total resurrection psychosis and is on a catatonic breakdown right now. Oh my god. Um, okay, 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 okay. Here's the plan. Let's make sure we're not putting our colonists in the meat grinder. For fairly obvious reasons. We have a spare stack, don't we? Ah, oh, I knew I should have used that on Chainsaw Hands. I was saving it until we could potentially pick who our next mech pilot was going to be, because I don't know what skills are necessary. Uh, maybe each mech has its own custom skills. One is, uh, obviously, the one we've got now is a combination of shooting an intellectual, but one's a melee-based mech. So I was thinking, okay, if it's a melee character that needs to pilot that mech, we'll put it in chainsaw hands, but if it's someone else, then we need to... Again, it was it was supposed to be a fail-safe, uh, but it's just ended up being a bit, of a bit of a fail. Very unsafe. This is fine. Oh, this is fine. I'm not... I don't think we're at any risk of losing chainsaw hands quite yet. Okay, no colonist corpses in any of those. Fantastic news. Let's put the people... Uh, human light corpses can go in there. Yeah, fine. Okay, just get them picked up. Don't bury them. Put them in the freezer. Don't pick up the chainsaw hands. Uh, whole chainsaw hands. You'll be fine. Where are you going to put her, though? We'll keep an eye on this. Uh, you're going to put her up here, through here, and in the fucking meat grinder. No! No! Bruh. <laughs> ah, maybe he's putting her on the meat rack. Uh, no, that's not much better. I'm sorry to say. That's very, very disrespectful to the dead. There you go. Nice and safely away in the freezer where she's not going to be accidentally butchered or, you know, ground to pieces, Boone's going to die as well. Shit. I think a lot of that, unfortunately, was friendly fire. Ah, oh, Boone's gone. Shit. Um, if we put him in the freezer, hopefully we can resurrect the the sleeve. Boone is still in there. He's in his little floppy disk, don't forget. Boone is now installed in the cortical stack. Naughty's death was annoying because she had a uh, death acidifier. On the plus side, you might remember yesterday, uh, General Payne became an incredibly legendary tailor. So he can make her a much nicer suit. Well, that was a great start. <laughs> All of this relies on Kingsnitch getting up. As soon as possible. Go pint your mech. Go on. Go, go pint your mech. You're done now. Thank you. Maybe we can build that owl fast. What are we lacking for it? Uh, let's have a look. Mech frame armor. Mech frame weaponry. He's actually on it. Are you making aviators? No, we don't need freaking glasses, my man. For God's sake, build the next mech, you weirdo. I don't think we've got any plasteel left, which might be a bigger problem. Uh, let's just suspend this for now. No, this is it. This is, that was the last of our plasteel. Is that really all we can build? Boy, oh boy, I sure hope another raid doesn't turn up. <laughs> Man, they hit so hard. They hit so hard then. Obviously, one of the weapons there was bugged. Not entirely sure what caused that, so that's not entirely on me. There was no way that rain of bullets was intentional. Well, maybe it was. And maybe we're not nearly as powerful as I thought. I mean, look, we've got three backup bodies. Now, did they actually spawn them with the stacks? I don't think they would have yet, because the mechanoids don't know that we know that they are actually mechanoid agents, so they didn't wear their suits and uh, wear their cortical stacks. <laughs> My grand plan was ruined. <gasps> King Snitch is back up. I'm berserk. Quick, get in there. Sweep the legs. I mean, carefully sweep the legs. King Snitch has two guns. Don't beat up Ivy. Oh, God, what if Ivy kills him? <laughs> oh, please run, General Payne. We've got leg sweeping to do. Come on. Uh, bruh. Sweep the legs, though. Thank you. Right. King Snitch, we need you up and not catatonic. Yes, there we go. Okay. Uh, you need to go and meditate right now. We need to do this before either the resurrection psychosis kills King Snitch or... Or they go catatonic again, I suppose. Oh, shit. Oh, come on! You're the only way we can bring back... Our colonists. Sanchko is incapable of violence, so Sanchko just needs to run fast. Okay. Time to sweep the legs. 
Please, meditate, and then bring her back. All my hopes and dreams on the shoulders of a lunatic. <laughs> and then I get up and play RimWorld. Hey! <laughs> oh! Oh, you were so close. We need 60%. You're at 53.3. I fucking hate you. Well, who are you trying to murder this time? Are you going to go murder the prisoners? All right. Let's sweep the legs. How many times have we got to teach you this lesson, old man? Oh, my God. I t the resurrection psychosis is just non-stop mental breaks. Sweep the legs. Please, you are a percentage off. Come on. I mean, everything's a percentage off. <laughs> Sachiko, patch him up. What if we, what if we like blast you with some drugs? We put you on like a scarlet high. Keep the mood. If we keep the mood high, then you're not as likely to, well, it's not, they're not breaking down because of mood though. It's because of the psychosis. It's a completely different, uh, it's a completely different effect. I think otherwise we would just get them addicted to Luciferum and then they go on a murdering rampage, which probably isn't a good combo. Come on. We need... Oh, shit. No, it's 77%. I was looking at skill hack. I'm a fool. 77%. Come on. Look, the new sleeve is done. You're almost there. You are almost there, King Snitch. Whatever of you has left inside that strange, rotten, frequently resurrected brain of yours, you just need to chill. All right, let's try calm. If not, we'll try the leg sweep. Come on. Come on. Shit. Meanwhile, Sachiko is... <laughs> processing tons of human meat kilograms and kilograms right sweep the legs please for god's sake I, I this is this is the biggest struggle i think i've ever had in my whole life which is why i have such soft supple hands i hate you you're on permanent leg sweep juicy general pain is gonna stand there and chaperone you come on 10 percent left just fight through it, King Snitch. Come on, and then we can give you that new body. Okay. Now, all you've got to do is get over there and then get through the ritual. General pain, again, chaperone him. Sweep the legs if this goes wrong. If we bring back chainsaw hands, chainsaw hands can bring back everybody else. Strings of fate, go. Come on. Come on, just get through it. I believe. Okay. I think now that King Snitch is out, with the with the psychic coma, now is probably a good time to get them installed into their new body. Sachiko, let's go crack open the pod. Wowie! <laughs> I can't wait till we perfect the, uh, the the technology to give them regular normal skin rather than bright green. They go up to eighty four percent on the resurrection psychosis. That with the dementia too. I get it. Look, I get it. Let's take that cortical stack out and let's. Uh, you you go to sleep. As the confused, clouded, old King Snitch. But you're gonna wake up brand new. Look at that. Holy crap, it works. She's back. Better than ever. 20 years of age. None of the health negatives, you'd kind of presume so. That's very nice. A little bit cold. Oh shit, yeah, it's five degrees in here. That's not ideal. I think I think it's long overdue is getting a better hospital. Because this place is... Kind of shitty. We've got some rusty, bloody operating tables, and that's it. Whoa. Luciferium Health Simulator. What on earth is that? I need six Luciferium to actually build it. Device that connects, uh, that continuously conducts simulations and experiments on connected users using Scarlet Mechanites. Oh, nice. So another, um, uh, another vitals monitor, basically. Well, shit, I'm not sure we're going to have room for all of this in Heinz. Like, God damn it. Should have built a bigger hospital. I split the room in half out of the bioscope pods. We still don't have the really, really high level research for those. And there's not much point doing the other stuff when we can more or less just fix it with a sleeve. So let's dig up all the tiles in here. Let's dig up all the tiles in here, I say. <laughs> and let's move all of that over to, I guess, what will be the new hospital. I don't think we've got quite enough silver. Yeah, not quite. But when we take the floors back, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, Chainsaw Hands is back. Change that bloody jacket right now. Oh, I did queue that up. Mechanoid weapons. This is from the Mechanoid Bench mod, which is the thing we use to take apart the Mechanoids into the Mecha components, not the components from vanilla expanded Mechanoids. That lets us build Mechanoid guns, but not like the um, the, the kind of base game ones, like the Lancer weapons and whatever else. Entirely new ones. So we'll take a look at that in a second. That's what I was looking for. Melee Specialist Falcon. Chainsaw Hands. Compiler. A mech. 
with goddamn chainsaw hands or plasma jewel blades. Chainsaw hands as far as I'm concerned. Uh, general Payne is going to kill you if he finds out you two have worn the same thing. They've all put on... What happened? Is this like a new... New jackets? General Payne been hard at work with that new tailoring expertise we got him. Now I think we've got a new issue. King Snitch has no Psy level anymore. And I don't know quite how we're going to give her a new Psy level. There is the anima tree. <laughs> That would be very, very bizarre. As long as we've got enough people to grow the anima grass, we can do it, right? Did you have a tribal backstory? Uh, firstly, you're the wrong ideologian. That happened when she broke down because the whole, you know, the whole psycho resurrection thing had that side effect. Well, backstory is a long natural meditation focus, but I don't think that allows us to do the ritual, right? Because that's tribal only. Well, we'll try it. Why not? Hopefully, we'll get the research for Silent Neuroformers, too, because that will let us make those very fancy pair of glasses for my guy Chainsaw Hands. Mech weapons. Here we are. Mecha minigun. Mecha shotgun. Mecha sniper. Wow. And then in this one, we have all the other mech stuff, too. Charge lance. Charge pistol. Arc. I don't even know where to begin. I feel like everybody, we should give their own kind of unique weapon to at this stage. There you go, Falcon's done. We don't have the resources to build the other one yet, so this is, this is very much on the back burner. Oh... I've got to resurrect some of the peep. <laughs> Amazing. We have enough for one already. Uh, here you go. Strings of Fate on... I guess... No, what happens if I resurrect the original King Snitch? That's against science. That is against the very science that we here stand for. Oh, but we could. What would happen? I don't want to try it. I do want to try it, but I know what would happen. It would just come back as a regular... As a, as a regular colonist. Wouldn't be surprised if a resurrect mech serum doesn't work on someone you put into a cortical stack. But I bet that will probably just bring them back, right? It goes against it goes against the very deep lore of this, this, this place. Although, that apparently is rewriting the simulation. Maybe it's all just a simulation. Wouldn't that be crazy? What's a desensitizing module? I presume it's like another... Whoa, shit. Uh, upon the connects to the patient's wirelessly, when activated, shoots out medical mechanite clumps. Specialized nanobots clean designated bodies completely of any anesthetic drugs. Right, that thing. Cool. Yeah, no, that's great. We have to top it up with glitter or medicine. It can be connected up to three beds. We'd have to build a few of them. But it removes anesthetic immediately with no negative effects. But now let's get the basics in place, like expanding this wall out another block because it's not symmetrical. Shit. Just in time for our people to get murdered by mechanoids. <laughs> this game is very self-aware. What is that? Oh, you can't send the invisible fellas after me. I haven't even resurrected Big Bright Bloom. Rise from your grave. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that will do it. Thank you. Thank you, Chain Science. That was a big brain play because instead of having, you know, like five people competent at combat, I've now got Four people. <laughs> it's a siege, okay? It's a siege. She'll be up in a second. She'll be absolutely fine. Don't panic. I wanted to make some luciferium. Can we actually just craft that now? I presume we've got the research, right? We do. 96 per luciferium. Or 24 per luciferium. That makes four quite clearly. Uh, wow. How much do we have? 491. So we didn't even have that much. We can make like 12 luciferium, 16 luciferium, then move on with our lives. Okay, well, we might as well give it a go. We want just enough to be able to, I guess, build... Because we're not going to... Look, I mean, we could give it to the clone bodies when we get them. Obviously, this is Boone's current and only body, so I don't want to use it on that one. Um, I mean, I guess it could work. I, th I think a lot of the other drugs are just way more useful, particularly given the amount of resources you have to put into them in the first place, right? What is the last wish? I don't know what this does, but I know it's with the mech suppressors. It's the only one that loses uses luciferium as a drug. But apparently, it will give people who take last wish an extra day of life. If you take too many of them, so if you buy too many extra days, they'll just die instantly. So what is that? You have to, like, keep it in balance or something? Drug popular among certain organized crime families contains mechanoids that are extremely densely packed... Therefore, unstable. After ingesting, it bestows a variety of superhuman abilities, but causes the organism to die. After eight days, they die? So it's like Luciferium, but you, you don't just take another dose. You just straight up die. Holy crap. If we ever get to the stage, this is nuts. If we ever get to the stage where we can keep churning out sleeves, I don't know how we would do that. There's probably a way somewhere. We can make temporary bodies for our people, and we could we could superpower them. Oh, shit. That sounds so cool. I, I need to think about how we're going to pull that off. 
Given that the only way we've got of making wood through him right now is meat, and this is an entirely metal planet, that's not going to be that easy. The wild speaker. Oh my god, it might be all down to King Snitch. The wild speaker can. If I'm not mistaken, can I look at your dead body? Ah, oh, shit, I can't. Can summon packs of animals, right? Now, I said we weren't going to spec into new trees, but they were a wild speaker when they joined us. That's how they had the psi abilities in the first place. James Hand started with it, of course. If we were able to make silent neuroformers, King Snitch could summon the, the animals that we grind up and turn into people. Oh, shit, that's so convoluted. I love it. Hey there, fellas. How are you doing? Uh, they're here to siege, but I don't think any of them are actually capable of building out of these mechanoids, so um, I've really fucked that one up. <laughs> Concrete fortified artillery, two of them. This is actually almost the perfect test bed for just sending Corillan out in the mech. I wouldn't send her out against the groups of agents specifically designed to kill mechs. That seems like a terrible idea. But when it's mech versus mechanoids... This could be a lot more, a, a, a lot more of a, a test bed for it. Let's see if all of that research and all of those resources were actually worth it. Let's go assisted combat. You know what? I'm interested to see how it can fare of its own accord. Without the micromanagement. Now, I presume the psychic... Shit, the sonic gravitational pressure will work. And it put the shield up at, like, a perfect time there, too. Oh, shit. And it's shield recharged so damn fast then. Did you see that? If we can keep the shield barrier up. Oh man, this this could be nuts. Uh, here's the plan. Let's back off in like a, 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 a diagonal direction to keep the shield generator online. I don't think we could stand our ground there forever because we've already lost a lot of armor. But we could definitely solo the raids with a bit more careful planning rather than just... Holy shit. Rather than just standing still, the, the effects are so cool on it. Let me just bait them back to the kill box and between the mech and, well, the, the, the mech annoyed turrets. I think we're going to absolutely annihilate them. Oh, it's amazing. Get down there, stop them destroying the turrets. We let the suit do the micro with the assisted combat and then we do the micro with the movement. Oh, this is actually fantastic. Out when the shields are charged up, get a few more hits in and then get the hell out when it's looking a lot more dangerous. So good. <laughs> it's actually so good. And the best part is the next one we build is going to be a quote unquote combat focused mech. I guess this one I, uh, is, is what, like more in the utility because it has the stun ability and the shield ability? Maybe. I mean, it seems to be doing pretty goddamn well. We've just got to be careful of the shield management. Otherwise, it's permanent resources we have to put into repairing it, right? It's not just like fixing a wall or whatever. Wow. I don't think that's it. Right over. Amazing work. That is so, so cool. And I'm convinced that with the four mechs together, we'll be able to get out there and fight those mechanoid ships one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, this is this is great. That was exactly what I had in mind. Oh, it took a long time to get here. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it, but this is, this is great. We're going to have to put a temporary pause on the mech project because the power cores require persona cores, which we'll have to go out there and find. God knows how else we're going to get them. That means my drug-fueled Luciferian clone program can carry on, though. Now, a lot of the vats we've already got filled with Neutramine. We've got loads more coming in, and wherever we're raided by the anti-mech people, they just go right into my delicious, juicy tank. I think we just need to keep churning out clone after clone after clone. Having the backup bodies in case Chainsaw Hands or King Snitch or Boone drops down dead at any point would be fantastic. Let's get... Uh, let's get backups going first. I think that's a good idea. So let's back up our uh, King Snitch. There you go. Well, I'll start giving them like, you know, like a more sensible skin color too. <laughs> that was that was the early alpha version of the of the sleeves, okay? Now we're now we now we moved on. The technology has improved. That looks incredible. Suppose we could also crank it up, couldn't we? High quality sleeves have minus 15% Whoa, they are so much better. I wonder how you get it. I wonder if we even can get it higher than that right now. We might not have the research for it or something like that. Okay, look, it's 300 new I mean, rather than 200, but we have so much spare. I'm happy to do that anyway. Let's, let's do that one. Can I cancel filling the other one? Um, and get the new train meme back. Then we'll make another clone of King Stitch, and this time we'll make her also high quality as well. I think that's a better idea. For another 100 new training, we're giving him so many more bonuses. It, it's worth it. Ah, oh, there they are. And then we can also fill them with a hideous amount of drugs. Like, an obscene amount of drugs. Ooh, what on earth do we go for here? I mean, landmines might have a genuinely great place right now. Anti-tank mines, when we're fighting what are effectively tanks, could be really nice. 
Mechanoid structures, I mean, the Blight Auto Repeller is pointless. The Indoctrination Pod converts people over, but we're getting people so slowly that... I mean, the Conversion Ritual will do it, right? So I'm not really that bothered. Mechanoid LF Enforcer. Uh, what does that do? Anybody striking it when the melee weapon feels like they're hitting liquid cornstarch? Oh, shit. Well, that sounds quite fun. It reinforces a particular wall, so if they keep going for, like, this part of the base, we could we could stop that happening. Honestly, I think I'm going to go with the landmine, of all things. Well, big research, the thing we desperately need to get are silent neuroformers. The ability to build those as soon as possible would be fantastic, so any... Uh, do we need any sort of prerequisites for that? Silink, uh, neurocomputation, there it is. Oh, we need bloody tech prints! Ah, oh, shit. Are there any quests out there that need, like, a giant mech? We might be able to help you out with that one. Complex capers. Uh, mech cluster with a psychic suppressor. I should probably go and destroy that at some point. <laughs> oh, we've got some other random crap out here. Um, shit. Let's throw that spare stack in chainsaw hands. Ah, maybe general pain. No, I think chainsaw hands is just too, too valuable. And let's grow ourselves a spare chainsaw hands too. Can I just go ahead and clone her regular body? There you go. Let's give her a slightly higher quality too. Install body parts. So I, I presume that'll be like bionics from just like on the body from the tube as a starting thing. Well, here yeah, goes nothing. Delicious, tasty luciferium. I need to build a vault. I need to build a vault because we casually have on our shelves now luciferium, shit loads of deep chem, right next to the nuclear shells, right next to mechanite canisters that can unleash a mechanite plague. I feel like we need like a big old vault for weapons of mass destruction. We can put it next to the nuclear reactor. That way, if it blows up, uh, we're all going down with it. Maybe that's a, it's not a bad plan. Yeah, next to that vanometrics are. That's a great idea. I've redesigned the base a little bit. I didn't go too mad with things. I put some shelves over here to make all the crafting a bit more convenient in the in the machine, in the kind of factory area of the base. I moved more some of the, the, the more like kind of boring crafting down here to have it a bit more convenient to the stockpile. Then I built a vault for the weapons of mass destruction. It's never a good thing to find out how many weapons of mass destruction you've actually got until you, after you've built the vault to keep them in. So we have 13 canisters of Mechanite Plague, uh, the thing that infects people with mechanoids and they burst out kind of alien style. Uh, we just had, casually amid our stockpile, six nuclear warheads. We have two lots of prepared and weaponizable uranium, and then 14 doses of Luciferium sitting around. So I decided, let's steal that away, let's put it somewhere safe, that way if it blows up, I mean, it'll just kind of... It'll wipe out all the dangerous stuff at once, then we don't have to worry about it. Really, we should build these walls out of something a bit more dense than just kind of rusty steel. We do have, like, depleted uranium armored walls, but I don't think we'll worry about that too much. If we could just get a tiny little bit more power, too, we could have all of these sleeve incubators active at once. Loads of backup bodies. I built the sleeve caskets, too, where we can just store them forever, so that if one of our clones does die, we can we can get them back up on their feet immediately. And it will open these back up to breeding more people. We just need not breeding people. No, that's not what I that's not what I meant. Uh, you know I didn't mean that. We just need a bit more power. We need way more power. Can we throw down another nuclear reactor? 38 days of fuel in that one, and all we need from that is uranium, but that also means we're gonna have to actively try and drill uranium too. Oh my god, there is so much stuff we've scanned up. Jesus. This is why we needed Boone. Special mining Boone with his 13 drilling skill. Um, you're fine. I'm not going to leave you as you are. I'm not going to pick another expertise. I think you're all right, Boone. Another vanimetric generator would be nice. Another raid would be nice. I can't believe I'm asking for this, but if anybody wants to turn us, we can have some more freaking resources. I mean, that would be great. We're, we're almost entirely out of plastic, and this is like all of our earthly plastic. Ooh. <gasps> Maybe that'll do it. Oh shit, please sell me some mech stuff. Nat traders, sell me. Uh, socializer, luciferium. Ooh, separate from neutramine, whoa. Oh, anti-grain warheads, huh. Steel futuristic great pyramid, sure. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll buy it. I mean, I have a suspicion about what that is, but I don't think it's what I think it is. Ah, even if we sold everything we own, we can't buy that pyramid. All right, it might... <laughs> <laughs> but I really want the pyramid. Maybe they want to buy nuclear warheads? Mechanite, like weapons of mass destruction. Maybe they just want to buy these. We'll see. Well, I'll have to send them a little bit of everything, but they did actually want to buy uh, the nuclear warheads. <laughs> sort of like 10,000. That's so good. Thank you. What? Oh, well, that was weird timing. Prototype barrel too. Thank you. Bruh. Oh, my face went among us rule 34. <laughs> Is it really just a fancy pyramid? Have I genuinely just bought like a little pyramid? 
<gasps> that's not a little pyramid. That's a, that's a grown-ass pyramid. That is a full-on monolith. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where am I going to put it? <laughs> I've, I've made a financial error. I'm, uh, I've made a severe financial error. We can replace the lab with a pyramid. I mean, it's not particularly practical. I'll be the first to admit. Ah, oh, shit. That's genuinely put tear to my eye. Well, I thought I'd casually throw down another nuclear reactor so that we can pop up here and start working on our clones a bit more. And then... <laughs> <laughs> wow takes me back it really does take me back i think we spent more steel than we got out of hollowing out this entire mountain but we ended up with a shitload of steel slag so we'll probably all even out in the end we haven't got a scrap yard anymore we just have a giant pyramid let's go ahead and clone general Payne himself let's make sure we got a backup of him if i could find the fucking guy uh general Payne. oh it was right there <laughs> <laughs> so we got backup King Snitch, backup Boon, backup Chainsaw Hands, backup Pain, really backup Karillin. All good quality, of course, because they deserve it. And we got plenty of Neutromine. And then I guess backup Naughty. And then I think it's fairly safe to say that Sachiko can uh, go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I haven't got room for any more tubes. Our state-of-the-art hospital is about as good as it's going to get until we want to start... Oh, well, until we get some other research, of course. But until we start work on the Glitter World stuff... Honestly, I want to expand out the Scarlet Collectors, because apparently we've got some advanced ones now that came with that final research. There is advanced Scarlet Collectors, so we'll throw down a few of those, replace these. And then as long as we've got backup bodies for everybody, which we'll keep in the sleeve caskets, we'll just grow new people, eventually duplicate the consciousness. Of course, we need way more stacks. And then before you know it, we've got ourselves a disposable army with no harm, no chance of death to our original characters that we can dose up with all sorts of experimental combat drugs. Yay! No humanity sacrificed. Well done, team. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure today. I know I said it was going to be a shorter episode, but I got a distracted with the base building. Oh, I've got a train to catch in like three hours. Oh, what have I done? I was enjoying just redesigning the place a little bit. I, I think it definitely needed a makeover. I'm glad that we've sorted out. I sold them. Oh my God, I thought we'd put the nuke somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we've got these systems in place now. More efficient crafting room. And just everything makes more sense the way it is now. I think this is a lot nicer, like a proper state-of-the-art hospital. That's one of the precepts for the ideal legends. So they're probably really happy that we have a huge professional hospital. And of course, a giant pyramid, but that was kind of accidental. The power grid's better than it's ever been. Everything's going really nicely. Uh, we've got shitloads of steel, so I built some cargo containers, which are literally just like giant steel buildings that you can dismantle for the same amount of steel as you put in it. So it's just a way to store it. We've got loads of resources, just shitloads of resources, but it hasn't been super action-packed. So thank you for running with me. When I get back from my travels... I don't want to say we'll go back to Eagle. I moved away from Eagle because it wasn't really balanced with some of the like, things like the shields and the mechanoids. But I'd like a more persistent storyteller. So maybe I'll look into Parry or something like that. Because we've been on Cassandra for a while. Because Eagle, again, doesn't really work with the, the double damage Eagle brings to the table. Doesn't really go well with some of the balance on the mods like the, the mech frames, in my opinion. Um, but maybe we'll go for Parry. Parry seems like a better idea. There's no point having all these mechs and people if there's, you know, if we're only getting raided very 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 rarely thank you all for joining me thank you for bearing with me as well and i've been saying that for what feels like a lifetime at this stage but uh hopefully we'll be a bit more action packed again this week didn't really go to plan we uh, got to spend a whole day getting suit fitting yesterday and shit like that now i'm traveling and you know the imminent threat of homelessness is looming over me like the sort of damocles that it has been since fucking july thank you in the meantime though to the incredible patrons i will be doing a patreon post again i know i've been saying that for a while but but things have not exactly gone to plan uh, i'll be doing a big old patreon post when i get back addressing some some plans i have for the future so Stay tuned. I'll also talk about why some content has disappeared. Um, but I won't go into that here because that's I've got a much more serious subject. Thank you to Liara Jennings, Alex Cicere, Nexus, Cosmosenti, Soccer Doubles. Oh, Jesus. Good Doggo, Assault Fox, Huntsman, Sabine Shadow Hill, Tiny Magnus, Ruck, Opossum Supremacist, Floor 1235, Genuine Guy, Thomas Law, Minty Mushrooms, Gazoose, Dart, Choppy the Bear, Splendid Spleen, Spill, Kira, Omega, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Zane Bible, Hoopy, William Ballard, Cyric 313, Ice Wolf Zero, and Andrew Robichord as well. For their support, the executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you for bearing with me. I will be back with you, uh, you know, like spiritually and not just kind of uh, content-wise 
Oh, very soon. Very soon. I promise. Oh, just stay with me. Thank you as well to Zep Zep, Lenit Sora, Skizuki, Luna, Singed, Punkish Bear, Railingar, Knight, Lucia, J. 520,000, Lame the Perfectly Innocent Wizard for Fancy, MW, Ahmad Zaki, Generally Mean, Shane Riley, Tiold Waldo, Koi, Drew Peanuts, Mini, Arctur, J1293, Pim, Untouched Wagons, Bo 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 Bo, Freckers, Diogo, Ray Karinga, Joker King, More Butts, Garen Vagadov, Dark Misery, and Rashad810. Thank you. See you all soon. Well, at some stage, I hope. <laughs>